Part 11, Making Algebraic Expressions. You will find this on page 87 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Making Algebraic Expressions. Translating verbal phrases into mathematical expressions. Develop the ability to rewrite sentences written in ordinary language as algebraic expressions with the same meaning. Here's a few important ones to remember. Remember, a number can be any letter of the alphabet. It can be X, it can be Y, it can be Z, it can be A, B, any letter of the alphabet. Okay. The ordinary language, the keywords are bold printed. The sum, sum means add, of a number and four. So I don't know that number, so let's call it X. X plus four. It can also be, let me write it here to you, or it can be 4 plus x. A number increase by 8. Increase means addition. So it can be y plus 8 or 8 plus y. It will also work. 6 more than a number. So I will just add. More means add. So a, remember any alphabet letter, plus 6. 3 added to a number. So that will be b plus 3. Okay. Now subtraction. So did you see all the let's just clean here. Did you see all the keywords? The keywords was let's just write it here. Sum. It was increase. It was more. It was added. That's all the keywords for addition. So if I come to subtraction, I look at the view. A number subtract from eight. Now, uh, especially for people whose English is not their first language, the following will help you. Whatever stands after the word from, that must be in front. Okay, because in subtraction, we cannot say that 8 minus x is not equal to x minus 8. It must stand, the correct one must stand in front. Okay, so if I say a number subtract from 8, then 8 must be in front minus x. 4 subtracted from a number. So what, what is standing after the word from? A number. So then that number alphabet letter minus 4. Okay. A number decreased by 9. So it's n minus 9. 7 less than a number. So it's n minus 7. The difference between 3 and a number. Now it can be s minus 3 or it can be 3 minus s. It, they must specify, give you more information before you can decide it's this one or this one. Again, did you notice the keywords? So the keywords was subtracted, subtracted, decreased, less, difference. Okay, let's look at multiplication. The product of a number and 10, remember product is multiplied, so it's x multiplied 10. A number multiplied by 5. So that number, any alphabet let number, multiply 5. And usually we write it as first the number, then the variable. So 10x, 5p. 12 times a number, so it's q times 12. So it's 12. Oh, this is p and this is q. This will not work. So let's just rewrite this one. So it will be 12q. Twice a number, so it's 2 times m or 2m. Okay, that's all for multiplication. So it's product multiplied times twice. Um, a, th a third, all, okay, no, a third will be division. Okay, let's go to the next one. A number divided by 13, so the number divided by 13, and the other way of writing it is like this. Half a number, so y divided by 2, y over 2. So if I say a third of a number, it's also division, then it's, if I say now a third of a number, let me just show you. Uh, a third of a number. Then it will just be, um, it will actually be a third times x or x over 3. Okay. A quarter of a number, it's a quarter times z or z over 4. Exactly as I did with this one. So make sure again you know the words. It's divided, it's a half, it's a quarter, it's a third. That's all indicating division. Okay, let's go to the next one. So I'm going to go through this example. Suppose, let's just mark it. 
Suppose y is a given number, so they tell you you must take the unknown number as y. Make expressions for the sum of a given number and 2, so it will be y plus 2. A number which will be will exceed the given number by 8. So what will it be? y plus 8. Exceeds means add. Uh, the difference between 40 and twice the given number. So that given number, so 2y, and the difference is 40. So 40 minus 2y. Or, because I said the difference, it can be 2y minus 40 also. Then number D, the square of a number. So just take that number, y, and square it. Okay. Uh, three quarters of the number, so take three quarters and multiply it with the number. And remember, you can also write it as 3y over 4. And then number f, 20% of the number, so it's remember percentage is out of 100 times y. So you can also write it as 20y over 100, because that's over 1, so that the y will be on top. And then the next one, 12y, okay, uh, 12 times the number, so 12y, okay, decreased by 3 times the number, decreased minus 3 times the, the square of the number, and that's y squared. So it's 12 more y minus 3y squared. And that's how I put that into algebraic expressions. Okay, I want you to do for me number 2 and number 4. I will just move it up a little bit. You can see number 4. Again, try now 22. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Try now 22. Okay, let's start with number 2. Number 2a. M is the number, so everything must in terms of M. Write the expression for, all, for the following. 12 more than m. Oh, more is just plus. So it's m plus 12. Number b. 20 less than m. So it's m minus 20. Number c. 5 times m. So it's actually 5 times m or actually 5m. Okay, number d. The sum of 10 and m. So 10 plus m or m plus 10. It will both will work out. Okay. Okay, the next one, number E, the sum of M and the square of M. So it's M plus M square. Okay, and if I look at number 4, let's just look. Write down three consecutive integers, Y and B the smallest. Now, now remember, if you have consecutive, that means numbers following each other. So it can be like 5, 6, and 7. But if you write it in terms of 5... Actually, you can write 6 as 5 plus 1, and you can write 7 as 5 plus 2. So the first one is 5, the next one 5 plus 1, the next one 5 plus 2. So let's take now that number y. So if I put y there, okay, the first one is y, what will be the second one? y plus 1, what will be the third one? y plus 2. So write down three consecutive y being the smallest, so it's just y, y plus 1, y plus 2. 